definitely think I just found the score of the day. I know I did actually, maybe the score of the week. Look at this. Fire department, antique thing that you lay on to go under a car, uh, to work on a car. I don't even know exactly what it's called, but pretty much you lay down on it like this. And then you wheel yourself underneath like a fire truck or something. Dreamer. Look at that. That's a dream right there. Doll, you never show me nothing but kindness. She would say, I know how sad you get. And some days I still get that way, but it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Look, our friend Ed showed up. Bright and early out of the out of the out of the thicket. There he is. The boy. How are you? What's up? Good. How you doing? Good. You want the generator? Yes. Awesome. All right. So our friend Ed and his brother, they fill shipping crates and send them to Haiti. I think you guys have seen it before, but he bought a generator from us just now, and we he gives us some money, and then we just unload stuff that honestly is kind of pointless to have here, but they use it all over there. So. He gives us a little bit of money and we just, I mean, all this stuff we took to the flea market more than once. So it's pretty much like dead in the water anyway. And we're thinking about doing a different flea market next week because we got to try something else out um, or take different stuff to the flea market. But I think if we sort all this, we might do Lambertville, which is really far away, but we've never done it, so we don't know it could be worth it if we take like antique stuff, more older stuff there. It's probably better. Okay, what is up everyone? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. And actually it is legit paradise outside. It's actually almost like summer. Summer day, it's like 80 degrees out, it's sunny. Clear, bright skies. Nicest day of the year so far. I know I said that already this year, but the day before that that I said it about was probably the nicest day so far. Now this is definitely the nicest day so far. So here we are in the eBay room. I wanted to show you guys just real quickly some stuff that we sold recently on eBay. Um, nothing of big market value, but we sold. Okay, so first off, we sold one of our hats. This is what was on our website, which is Big Cartel, and a patch. So a combo set. And it's always cooler to sell the stuff that you made yourself than it is to sell stuff that you just found or bought to resell. But Ronald Percy out in Connecticut is gonna get this. So thank you for purchasing a hat from us. We do still have some more of these Coffee Before Claims hats left. Um, and this is a way that you can support us if you love our videos, if you like our videos, if you like watching them uh, and getting something out of it. You can show support and also get something that you can enjoy. So thank you for that. We sold a Jedi Mind Trick shirt. So we sold that, I think, I took an offer for 10. So didn't really make that much off of it. Bought it for $2 at a thrift store, sold it for 10, um, plus shipping, so I don't know. Tiny profit. We sold this Chrono Quest game um, for it's been on our eBay for a while. It's for an Amigo system. We sold it for $18 plus shipping. Um, yeah, $18 plus shipping. So, cool to see that move at the flea market. You would likely to get less than a dollar for it. That's how crazy the flea has been lately. Maybe you would get a dollar for it if someone even knew what it was. Most likely you'd display it and no one would buy it. But we sold these four games, not games, VHS tapes, 
their Burger King Kids Club Ninja Turtle VHS tapes um, for 15 bucks. So not that great, but still moving the product along. And we got these from the mystery sale in the box of stuff. So we sold so far already one game for over 20 and then now these for 15 So still yet to make our money back off of that. But that sale was awesome, I can't deny it. We sold the X-Files watch that we got for free for $20, I think. $15. So got it for free, 15 bucks plus shipping. Can't deny that. So I'm going to package all this stuff and ship it out. But just wanted to show you guys. We have been trying, trying to get our eBay going once more. And it's working slowly. Um, if we sold, you know, every week a hundred, two hundred dollars every week, that's extra income um, combined with everything else that we do. So, I do think it is important to have different aspects of your business. Uh, if you go full eBay, uh, that's awesome if you're making money. But for me and for us, for our lifestyle, we like to be active and go out and do things every day so it's really hard to keep up with the ebay and we like to film action so ebay sales are more like just explaining what you sold and it's not so much action so i like to make videos that are like out picking um more than ebay even though ebay has been awesome to us so gonna package this stuff up and then uh we're gonna try and clean out the shed today so stay tuned could be some cool stuff in there that I haven't shown before or it's been buried for centuries uh, but yeah stay tuned you what's the claim today Sammy the claim is it's really really nice out um, so nice that I think we're gonna take a walk not really sure yet <laughs> what take a walk take a walk maybe perhaps with Landa Sandito all right. Get out, though. What are you claiming? Something? All right. Oh, maybe it's cool. What does it say? Doing a little trash picking here on the way. Oh, fuck this person, dude. Why? What does that say? Are you sure he doesn't? Can you close that door? Sorry. Nothing good, right? I don't know what it says. This lamp is... It's cut the cord. Uh, oh, this is all... Dessert first. It's from like a restaurant. Yeah. Over it, right? Because it's taped on there. Alright, so earlier, our friend Ed and his brother were here. We gave them a bunch of stuff. He bought stuff, but we pretty much gave it to him to take to Haiti. This is all the other stuff we took out of the trailer. But I think with, I don't know, I'm going to check the weather, but I think I'm going to start taking this stuff out of the here, disposing of certain things, posting certain things, and trying to minimize what's going on in here. Cause it's just not functional it's not working for me anymore and a lot of stuff probably is just bound for the trash depending on what it is this thing might be a good ebay piece actually But I will say, we talked to our friend Controller Mike today. We saw him at the post office. He does a eBay almost full time. And he said he had 1,100 things listed on his eBay. And now he's down to like 700. But he, he'll sell something almost every day, if not 10 things a day. Uh, he goes full bore on eBay. So I just started thinking in my head, 
uh, let's do it. Let's just try and do it. So we're going to start posting much more on there and just see what happens. Um, just going to fill this with trash. I just don't think that you get the best price for stuff when you sell it. Say at the flea market, you kind of get smoked and you could almost sell one item as opposed to 10 online if you can sell it on eBay for the right price. And it's just it's less, uh, less aggressive. But certain things like, I did hear talk that some of these do sell on online but I think it would have to be a very specific cassette I looked this one up it's like three dollars but who knows if you bundled it I guess you could do it so here I just searched this Roger Whitaker on eBay average sale price is two dollars and eighty cents I don't know. Probably not worth it for me. Very strange. Frankie goes to Hollywood cassette tape. The average sale price they're saying is ten dollars and sixty cents on eBay. So I posted that. I have no idea how that's going to work out. What do you think? It's possible. It's possible. <laughs> it's possible. All right. So this is what the shed looks like now. Not as bad. I can walk in, turn around, and fully look at everything with the door wide open. So, slowly but surely getting stuff in organized. This is recycling. We trashed a bunch of stuff that was just dead weight. Um, and to put some stuff in scrap, too. This is scrap life now. Scrapping all this just done but trying to get it under control and started searching some cassette tapes and other weird stuff on eBay and seeing that some of them sell for like six seven eight ten dollars so separated the ones I could I got this Ooh. look at the babies fence baby Oh, she got scared. Oh, big girl. Let's see. Like some of this stuff. Like the mummy movie sells for like seven bucks on VHS. Crazy. This was like nine sixty it came up average sale when I scanned the barcode. I don't know how true that is, but maybe. Alright, good morning everyone. I hope everyone's having a good day. Here we are. Another beautiful day in paradise. Look at this. And my tree is blooming. Look at that. The tree is in full bloom. My baby tree. That cherry tree life. Mm -hmm. So today we have decided to go on a trash picking mission. Yesterday was the hottest, nicest day of the year so far. So I have a feeling people were doing spring cleaning. We saw them doing spring cleaning. So we're looking for... What are we looking for, specifically? So we're looking for a stroller for Landis, Landito, because we're planning a big mall trip with him. And we're gonna dress him up like my child, because he is my child. And yeah, so hopefully somebody threw out a stroller. And we have the, uh, the back of the truck empty. Hopefully we fill it up with gold. So we're looking for scrap, we're looking for stuff to resell, we're looking for antiques, collectibles, anything we can find on the street. So here we go. It's going down. All right, some spring cleaning going down, as we can see, like we thought, but nothing good in that pile that I can see. Moving on. All right, so. Are these wood? Oh, I thought these were wood. That's why I got out. These are not wood, they're plastic. But tiny little piece of scrap at least. Alright, what do we got here? Printers on printers on printers. What 
what's in here. This is why I stopped. These printers are not good for selling, but Jeep radio. Oh yeah. This is the score right here. Oh, they're not in there. But Jeep radio. I'm taking this box. This is the box right here. I just thought these were in here and I got so excited. But either way. The trash man is up ahead. Taking all our trash. Taking all the goods, right? <laughs> Should we follow him up and be like, that's my stuff? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're just gonna go past them. <laughs> or is that the recycling that. dude? That no, was both, I think. And they do do both. Is it just all recycling? Oh shit, there he is. See him? He's coming He's in coming. hot. Say, Rog Life. What's it looking like? Ruhan? Is it an outside car? Yeah, I guess it's round, right? I don't know. I bet someone at the flea would buy it. Yeah, take it. Let's see it. Open it up, right? Yeah, do you want to, right? Just to make sure there's no big stains on it. Is there anybody coming down the street? No. No one's coming. There's a pipe dude up the street too. Like blocking the road. So is it good or is it a, a brute? It's not that dirty. What do you think? Mm -mm. You don't want it? Mm -mm. It's too ruined, right? Yeah, it's real bad now that I took it. Let's see what we got here. Of course. The tent is... What is this? Is this a tent? Feels like it's in there. We sold a tent at the flea last weekend, so I'll take that. What else we got? This little thing's missing a wheel. So that's done. That's it. Nothing good. Not a stroller yet. Alright, a little bit of scrap. Oh, this one's heavy at least. Oh, there. Oh, it's like 40 pounds. Probably heavier actually. You can make something out of these. These are cool, right? Must have just my husband over here. Did I? No, about what? I think you found some metal. Okay, what is it? <laughs> yeah, should I just back up? Yeah, back up. She said, did you speak to my husband over there? Because we got some metal. She thought I was the local scrapper in the neighborhood. Are you though? Not this neighborhood, but yeah. Don't hit her car. Let's see what we're claiming, right? Moving out of here? Yeah. This box right here? This little metal. Oh, metal. nice. Okay. Cool. That. I'll take it. Now, I have also, because I was laying flooring, a whole box of flooring nails. Do you take that? Sure. Yeah. Take that. I'm going to put this in, all right? <laughs> Got some scrap from the boy, the main guy. First, right? Mm -hmm. Probably get rid of all the stuff though. This is good. That's your flooring nails. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Getting rid of anything else? I will be, but I haven't gotten okay. anything. Thank appreciate you. it. I appreciate it taking it for me. Thank you. Definitely think I just found the score of the day. I know I did actually. Maybe the score of the week. Look at this. Fire department. Antique thing that you lay on to go under a car. 
uh, to work on a car. I don't even know exactly what it's called, but pretty much you lay down on it like this. And then you wheel yourself underneath like a fire truck or something. Dreamer. Look at that. That's a dream right there. All right, we just scored some gold out of the trash. Met some cool older people that are moving. Gave us some scrap and some other stuff, some nails. But we're at the Shore Thrift in Ventnor Heights and we're gonna look for a stroller for Landis. And I just we just saw some really cool wrestling tees out front, so maybe they have gold here too. About to check it out. Ugh. I just can't believe I, we just found this thing now. I know it's not that great, but I do think it's a cool piece for a firefighter to display, like in their house or their, you know, their man cave. I don't know. I think it's cool. One dollar rack. Strap them in here though. Like sitting. Oh, the only thing is, I feel like it's just dusty. What do you like? It goes around. It's like, yeah, I know. It's like you're saying it has a cover so that he feels secure, yeah. so he's just like chilling. Yeah, that's kind of what it's hoping to find in the trash. Probably nothing in here, but it could be something deep down in the cush. Little miter box. You would think that would sell, but it wouldn't. Look at this little pile of gold right here. Sammy thought this was a stroller, but it's not. It's metal, though. Actually. So I'll take it for scrap. to one of the containers that I have. So I'm gonna take that too. A little bouncy ball. That thing's still got springage in it. All right, just got back home. Look what's here. No way. This is about to get heavy. iron press this thing is gnarly I'm about to set this thing up and show you guys how this works came at the perfect time because overnight we got four orders for these hats and I did iron them myself this one and it's held up fine I've wore it every day for like a week but the press is gonna solidify this operation and just make it so much better All right. we got the press in the mail um, we're gonna, I'm gonna open it up right now and try and press one of these hats. So let's see. This is the black series. Hat 
press. So let's see what this thing looks like. the hat press so hopefully they didn't send me the wrong thing. Sasquatch. Hey you. Dad no. was to take what are you saying today? About potatoes? Life, life in general. Today? Yeah. About potatoes. It's a good day. It's a good day to be the sass. I worked with a couple of guys in Avalon. This is what's crazy about life. There's so much sadness, and then we actually went to Avalon and took a concrete saw and cut the apron of the driveway out, cut the sidewalk out, took up his whole driveway, was 25 by 20, out, all to reform so this dude can pull his Ferrari in the driveway. Was Concrete Rod there? Concrete Rod was there in the morning. So did it work? Did he get his dri his Ferrari in the driveway? Not yet. He will when Concrete Rod pours the, the concrete. First world problem. Concrete Rod doesn't even have to pour concrete now. He just shows up and he's that cool. Like his sunglasses. All right, we're hitting the night time right before it gets dark. Trash picking mission, last of the day, to see if we can score this stroller for Landis. Do you think we got this? It was too sour. Those are the, those are so good. Sour. Like a Jolly Rancher things? But Ooh, sour. They're so good. You want? It smells like Landis. Yeah, it smells like Landis. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy's claiming medicine cabinet. I'm claiming this thing used for a dartboard. Yes, it was used for a dartboard. I have a dartboard we can put in it to make it more legit. So that's coming home. What is this? Is this a toilet seat? No, these are some cool ass. What is this thing? Look at this cutting board. Oh, that's really cool. That's legit. Yeah. Too legit to quit. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's cutting board, yeah. That thing's cool. Thank you. <laughs> what is it? A dartboard holder? It's for a dartboard. Oh. What did you say it was? Thank you. A dartboard. Oh, really? For a dartboard. Oh, I yeah, thought it wasn't said. five minutes ago. How the f would I know? <laughs> How would I know? Do I look like I play darts? I don't know. You're trying to How tell me it How would I know wasn't. what that is? <laughs> Are you funny? Are you? <laughs> that, that guy, guy looks cool. <laughs> That guy kind of. Oh, man. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, that's 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 Problem is these TVs they people leaving out here, they get to take the cords out. Why is everyone taking the cords on me? I pretty much know this thing works. For some reason, it just looks really clean. The cord's gone though. It's another one. This one has the cord. So yeah, at least we can try both of them with this cord. Why do people throw out all these TVs? Are they just over it or you think they don't work? Alright, we just found this TV in the trash. Two TVs. This one's so clean. I just plugged it in. Let's see. No way. I gotta see something. There it goes. It went on. Let's see. No signal. No.
No signal, but it works totally fine. This is the craziness of this. All right, TV number two. I'm not getting any signal off of this. Oh, 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 it's going. Please wait. Works fine. No way. Two TVs, one day, one night. Flat screens. I mean, they're not like super flatties, like the new ones, but they're totally fine. TVs, HD, flat screen TVs, both in the trash tonight. Wow. What people throw out. So this cord was on that TV. So we, I have one cord to go for two TVs. But this really makes me think that people are throwing away gold on the streets every day. And all the flat screens that I'm seeing on the streets probably work. So this is crazy. Okay, another thing that we found today is this Jeep stereo radio. Car radio, car stereo, CD tape player um, somebody has it posted for 4818 on eBay the same exact one but brand new brand new they're claiming for $35 so I don't know maybe this is a $20 thing maybe it's a $5 thing maybe it's a scrap thing I don't know but I'm going to try to get some money for it on eBay if if we can. So it doesn't look in bad condition. I think they just replaced it. Two speakers from a Jeep. And then these, which are blown out speakers. You can tell they're all blown out. But some scrap nonetheless. So that's not bad. All in all, it was a great day out trash picking. Uh... We got the print, the, the iron uh, machine press, the iron press working. We printed three hats. It works pretty good. Um, we didn't film any of it because it was kind of frustrating to get it going. We ruined the first hat, and then the next three were fine. So the temperature was too high up. It's it just a little learning curve, but I think we're going to be able to do that pretty easily, printing hats with it. So maybe I'll show you guys right now, actually. All right, probably just going to save the printing of these things because it's kind of a process to show you guys tomorrow in the video. I'll show you the actual process of doing it. But today was the learning curve. So we take the hat out of here, the patch out of here, put it on there, and we print it. And this is what they turned out. So these three were good. Good, good, good. Those three. And then this one got messed up because, well, pretty much the patch was a little bit off. But you can see how the thing hit there and it, it burnt the hat a little bit, but still pretty good. Wouldn't, I would still wear, I'm still going to wear that one. But the other ones are good to go. So that's the thing. Set it up in here. And it's pretty nice. You just kind of, we were both doing it. Sammy was like holding it because so the brim would be out of the way. And you just kind of put it on and just press down. And it just prints it on there. So pretty good system, I would say. Actually very nice. So stoked about that, that we bought this thing. And now we can print our own logo. So we're going to do the government issued heroin ones on the red hats these ones on those hats and then we just kind of have a world of whatever we want to print and we don't have to order 50 of one kind we can just do like 15 move on or like whatever and the patches you don't have to you know you can order 100 patches put them on clothes Sammy put one on a sweatshirt you can put them on hats backpacks you can sell them just as is so you're not really stuck with like all of those hats not that you'd be stuck with it, but say you just want to make 10. You just make them with this. And if you want to just make, you know, 10 of something else, a beanie. Just have to make sure it's the right material so it doesn't burn through. But got to just keep pushing. This is my dream. I've always wanted to own a clothing company and doing it myself here in the house. 
is kind of exactly grassroots style how I wanted to. So this is just the beginning of something much bigger. I already know that in my head.